Hello, my name is Oshibi Craig. I'm the director of the Center for Arts, Migration, and Entrepreneurship here in the College of the Arts at the University of Florida. Across millennia, the arts have spurred human creativity, composition, critique, and innovation, alternately constructing and deconstructing meaning and purpose. The arts play a critical role in society, bringing us together and continually pushing us forward. We see clear relationships between the discovery and expansion of human capabilities and the arts over our history. Whether sparking innovations in science or technology or responding to them, the arts have always offered us ways to understand, evaluate, and shape reality. Now, as emerging media and technology are integrated into objects and physical structures, becoming independently intelligent, and even blending with our bodies, artists of this generation want and need to be engaged shaping this moment, responding and making meaning of this fourth industrial revolution. Creatives are the original human-centered designers and experience makers, asking what is a painting, a theatrical production, or a concerto, but a design context for human experience. The making disciplines at the University of Florida College of the Arts are unified by critical thinking and critical doing. We are specialists in the relationship between what is being made, its users and audiences, and how that relationship can catalyze a more relevant, equitable, and just society. We are experts in possibility, probing with questions to focus the lens of invention towards experience that centers human beings. This is why we are exploring the nature of human existence in a world with artificial intelligence. We're also asking how the arts can help destabilize existing alignments of power to address and shape a more sustainable and inclusive AI experience. Here in the Center for Arts, Migration, and Entrepreneurship, our maker in residence, Caduce Onikeku, seeks a new answer to the question of who owns viral dance moves. The law is quite ambiguous about that and also racist because the kind of dance that the law says we can copyright is when you make a, a full piece, a full length work. But when you talk about dance moves or a groove, it is not a composition. And uh, if you tell me that I cannot copyright that, then you are taking away everything from African and African diaspora people. Onikeku's Atunda project reimagines how creative output is valued. The College of the Arts is engaging in national and global conversations with artists, scientists, and futurists to discuss how they understand the relationship between AI, machine learning, and the arts. Through our partnership with the Global Initiative AI for Africa and our own CODA AI Symposium, produced in collaboration with Kamal Sinclair, Executive Director of the Guild for Future Architects, we are traveling beyond the domain of product-focused AI, that place where machines paint like Basquiat and compose like Miles. We are less interested in machines mimicking things that we've done, but we are more interested in exploring what we might do next. We are engaging with artists who have been making art with emerging technologies for years, artists who are hosting critical conversations about culture and inclusion at the level of data. These engagements have inspired new questions for our faculty and colleagues. Questions like, how can improvisation as a data set or theoretical frame help shape AI's possibilities in both capacity and applications? Dancers, musicians, actors, and many other artists and makers are trained deeply in improvisation, also known as decision-making amid shifting contexts and conditions. Additionally, many, many disciplines have studied human movement, resulting in large but disparate data sets. Traditional data collection requires manual input by professionals who annotate the recorded data through a watch and pause process. This is time consuming and prone to human error. Dr. Angelos Barmpoudis with the Digital Worlds Institute is leading a project to fully automate the annotation process using AI. The project seeks to enable automated classification and understanding of human motion across a spectrum 
of movement-centered disciplines, including clinical and telehealth settings, choreographic process, and cross-cultural movement analysis. The College of the Arts expertise in these spaces will contribute to UF's AI initiative in education, movement analysis, human machine performance systems, hybrid cyber physical environments, dynamic system simulation, new IP, entertainment, and much more. Our AI-focused arts faculty will contribute to UF's AI research and curriculum in ways that will expand our students' capacity to shape future society for the greater good. Like other new tools, AI can prompt deep consideration of our actions, processes, and their effects, perhaps even to fundamentally reimagine human experience and society. And what skills are necessary for such a reimagination? Critical thinking and critical doing at the heart of the artistic process.